Welcome back to Bowser's Valley. Let's continue on to Ghost Fortress. And it's another Super Mario Bros. 3 Fortress. Which I really don't like, but... Ouch. Yeah. I'm sort of betting all of the fortresses are going to be like this, so... I should probably stop complaining about that. I haven't seen any of the worst designs so far. There were just a couple of the... SMB3 castles that I get really annoyed with. At least I think I did. I may be thinking of a Mario hack that used the same design. Because I do think I've seen this in a hack before. And I don't remember my hacks particularly well, so... I have no idea which one it was, or would have been. Ouch. So, I'm back at college now, I think I brought that up, and my videos, for those of you that care, will probably be coming a bit more regularly. And I was also going to try and do a video blog, whatever you're supposed to call that. I hate saying vlog, but there's not really much else you can call it. I mean, calling it a video weblog is just stupid, I hate to be that. I don't know, long-winded, but vlog is also silly, but it's the age of information and the age of neologism, so we'll all learn to deal. Anyway, I was hoping to- oh. I always hate that when you just wind up back where you were. It's always very, like, sad. There are only two ways to go, right? So this is definitely the right way? Oh, god. And I went through the fireball. Thanks, Rewind, you suck. Okay, I suck, but the Rewind does not help as much as you'd expect. I have also been sort of not liking ZSNES lately. It's been a pain. It just does certain things that make recordings annoying. So what do I have this for? Okay. Ow. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's what I need it for. Not too bad. Oh, there's more. They're little balls of fire. Anyways, I will be using SNES 9X, the emulator, after this hack. I can't, like, transfer the save files, unfortunately, so... I'll just keep playing ZSNES for this one. And you probably won't notice any difference. I will, though. It will be less annoying to start recordings. Because ZSNES traps your mouse. And it's annoying enough with the mouse and it's slightly more irritating when I'm trying to use the touch interface. Because I always forget that my mouse is trapped and I don't particularly have visual feedback that shows that. Well, let's continue on. Oh, and if you didn't notice, I have already beat that level. I ruined a recording. Well... My controller driver crashed, which is a fairly common problem. It's unfortunate, but I'm using an unauthorized driver, so... Just glad to have it at all. Oh, and there's Stompy Dudes. Hey, Stompy Dude. What's going on? I think those A coins, I think those were in the Game Boy Advance remakes of the original Mario games. I still don't know what the A is for, but I know those were in the remake of SMB2. I don't know if they made it elsewhere. Did the original Super Mario Bros. 2 have those? I don't. I never played it. It didn't come with the Nintendo that I got. I never owned a real Nintendo original one, but 
I came into getting a box that had a Nintendo and a bunch of games, which most of which were terrible. And just looking back at the library of NES games, it seems like there were a ridiculous amount of games that are just basically movie games or whatever, and they're just terrible generic crap with terrible generic movie characters stuck in them. Oh, and I died. I guess there's still games like that today, but it just seems like it must have been easier to do it in the NES. Oh, and I also found a ROM of Action 52, which is like 52 of the worst games ever, all crammed into one. And the top of the screen is flickering. That's very annoying. It's probably not the hack, it's probably the emulator or something between. It's gone, so don't care. I might know this music, but I don't know. Yeah, I should stop thinking about the music. It's distracting! Ow. Then so are Koopas that eat my face. And we're back to... We seem to be switching back between SMB 2 and 3 a lot. I'm sorry if I'm repeating something I've already said before in a video, because I've actually had to re-record this set uh, two times now, because I forget why the first time. I don't even know why. And the second time I was trying to record this, my driver crashed. And it was always like two levels into the video. Which is annoying, but... It doesn't really matter too much. You probably wouldn't have noticed if I hadn't said that. Which I should really just not mention it when I mess up a recording, since I'm sure 99.9% .9 of people wouldn't ever notice anyway. And I really don't know if that slowdown is the emulator or the game. It's probably the game, actually. The Super Mario World, I've seen... It's just the engine slash, well, the game, I mean, slash uh, the console. Because when you have, like, four sprites on screen at, at a time, I think it is, the game just slows down a whole bunch. And I, I'm really pretty sure the console itself can handle way more than that, so... There must be something in the game, I guess. You know, this is actually very relaxing to not have to worry about all sorts of stupid stuff messing up my recording. That's why I really like... I guess it's more just the save states and crap, but I like doing Mario Hack LPs because I don't have to re-record everything. If I die or something, I can just rewind. And, you know, some games I may just not care about, but... Generally speaking, if I don't care about it, why the hell would I record it, so... Like, Mega Man, I... I really like Mega Man, and I'm fairly good at it, so I don't intend to... ever do a subpar recording of me dying or anything like that. But... For simple Mario hacks, I'm perfectly fine dying all the time. For one thing, in Mario, you only have two hits, so dying is really easy. But... I don't know why I tried to rewind that. But Mega Man, you have health. And Mega Man's definitely harder than Mario, but... If it makes sense, it's harder to die in Mega Man, like... Well, it is if you know what you're doing, anyway. Anyway, I pretty much forgot my point. And are we gonna come to this... place every time we do an underground segment? I mean, I guess this game is mostly references to the NES Marios, though, so that makes sense. I mean, you can't expect every hack maker to have completely original graphics and everything. It's just nice to have different graphics, really. 
Because if you look on Super Mario World Central, you can get... There's a whole bunch of different extra graphics packs that you can apply to your hack, and people are just like, hey, you can use it for whatever, and you don't have to credit me or anything. Which, that's really nice. I suppose you can't actually, like, license what's more or less illegal content, but it's still nice that people would make that for just for free and all that. And one of the ow, one of the bullet bills was missing. It's odd. And I can't see. That's really annoying. There we go. Hey there, saw dude. I guess you're not really a dude, you're just sort of an object. That's sort of my default thing to say to enemies. I call them... dudes of whatever... variety they happen to be. Like Mario would be a plumber dude. Oh, and I just noticed that he gives you a... little peace sign when he beats the level. Or I guess it's also the sort of V for victory sign. That was... That's what it was in, like, World War II. Propaganda crap, I guess. I'm not sure the actual origin of the... sign. Look on Wikipedia if you want to know it. And I don't have fireballs. And I don't think fireballs can break cement. At least I'm pretty sure. Well, I guess it depends on the temperature of the fire. Because it's, you know... Ow. Several thousand degrees Celsius would probably melt cement. I have no idea what the melting point of cement is, but... I imagine it's less than a thousand degrees Celsius. Maybe. Actually... I have no idea, never mind. And I just stomped on a fish. You're not supposed to be able to stomp fish, are you? I'm going to test that out. I could have sworn I just stomped on a fish, but whatever. I'm just completely seeing things or something. Nope, oh, I tried to slide. Nope. Saw that coming. Die! Excellent. The music is, like, slower than it's supposed to be, isn't it? I guess it's just remixed, it's not necessarily just slowed. It just caught me off guard that it was different than the original Mario thing, but that's good. I don't like to hear the same exact song repeated, like, 5,000 times. Even if it is, like, a slightly edited version of the same song 20,000 times, it's slightly better. Even if it mildly confuses me when I notice that it's different. Hey, Spiny. Spiny dude. Oh, and on one of my failed recordings, I got to the bonus game. I don't know if I actually did that or not in a real recording. Oh, and it's a ghost house, so no way do we have time for that. So, thanks for watching, and we'll have a ghost house next episode.